We're back at the Amish list barn. We're really picking up the slack that the Amish finishing the job that they couldn't. We're gonna come for the Amish. We're gonna yeah. be the best. And we're trying to prove ourselves worthy of the Amish. It reminds me of the when, when we first started. This is how it all started. They're like, hey, you know, we spotted that barn out there. He goes, are you Amish? <laughs> We got Amish names. We got so, Amish. It's in, it's our destiny. It really is. You grew up Amish, right? So just kind of looking around at the work we've done, have we lived up to the Amish, or have we still got some work to do? We are here in Earlville, Iowa. Earlville. Earlville, Iowa. Yeah, kind of found this barn out of nowhere. Yeah. He found us online, kind of in a predicament and we are on a little bit of time crunch. Yeah. We uh, got the offer yesterday, confirmed, and we're here today and we're starting the sucker. Yeah, like now. All right, so essentially what's going on is the Amish started taking down this barn uh, back in 2020. It's been over a year now since they started. They haven't finished a project and this guy needs the barn down so that he can run some electrical wire to this shed that's behind me, that's behind the barn. He's got pigs in there and they need to stay warm. It's December in Iowa, you wouldn't believe it with looking at the ground. The predicament for us is if it snows and the snow sticks, that's gonna be a problem. And if it gets below 10 degrees while we're working here, those pigs that are in the shed are gonna be in trouble. So we're on a bit of a time crunch. We need to get this done as quickly as possible. And uh, we're really picking up the slack that the Amish, I'd say. Yeah. Finishing the job that they couldn't. It's kind of funny that he hired us because we show up on the job site. And he's like, all right, what's your names? And I'm like, well, I'm Ezra and this is Hezekiah. And my business partner is Elias. We've got another worker whose name is Jacob, but I swear we're not Amish. <laughs> Uh, is he having a look with it? He can't get the key to even like turn to the on position. Yeah, that can so. be a little finicky sometimes. Sometimes you gotta turn it to the left and then turn it to the right. Lift is getting delivered from one job site to the next and the key like won't turn. And they're like, he gave us a broken key. But it's always been tiny, it's not broken. That it's acting like a the like key's not even going in all the way. It's still sticking out. What? Yeah. So it's, the key's still not working. The semi driver's still not able to get it figured out. Well, I, I appreciate that, Brett. All right, thanks, bro. But he's gonna drive up there and take care of it? I think so. That's cool. So it's just gonna be later than we thought. All right. Last time we got up on a roof, my hyd hydraulic line attachment really didn't suffice. Mm -mm. So we upgraded because we're all about safety here at 310 Timber Company. All about safety. And uh, something that I always tell our employees is, you know, anything I ask you to do, I'll do. Like I won't ever ask you to do something I'm not willing to do. So today the two owners are gonna go and shingle and we're gonna get all the purlins. Usually we try to get them with the forks and end up wasting a lot, but I don't have that here. We don't have the telehandler here because of the issues that we're dealing with with the key. And so we're just gonna get up and anchor down and see how it goes. All right, so Lice and I are up here. We're nailing these anchors down. As soon as we get them done, we'll strap in and start getting these shingles off. Day one, pretty much in the books. It was slow. We've never done the roof this way, as thorough. So we're kind of learning the process, and I mean, all together, good day. Yeah, I mean, this roof's gonna be off in a, in a few days, so. So we had a guy stop by, and he was buying some stuff from the barn owner. And he kind of looked up at us and looked back at the barn owner and said, 
they don't look Amish. <laughs> like, we're hey, not. we're not. We're the next best thing. Next By the best. end of the oh week, gosh. we're going to come for the Amish. All right, so I just woke up and uh, still got my morning voice. Look outside and we've officially hit our first roadblock with this barn. So I'm gonna show you what I'm seeing right now. All right, we're gonna head up, called Elias, and decided that we're gonna try to get on the roof. Uh, there was a little bit of snow, maybe a little bit of freezing rain, but it is supposed to be in the 40s today, so we're hoping that throughout the day it'll get better and we'll just make sure that we're wearing our harnesses and still being as safe as possible. So tomorrow though, there is a huge winter storm coming and so we need to get this roof done today so that tomorrow we don't have to worry about it and we can kind of get other stuff done on the ground. All right, so as you can see today, we've got a little bit of frost on the roof. So we're going to need to be extra careful when we're climbing up this sucker. Make sure that we're anchored down at all points. That way if we slip, our harness is gonna catch us. All right, let's go check on the pigs and make sure that they're staying warm. After all, we're doing this for you, piggies. They look nice and warm to me. What's gonna happen now is I'm gonna head over there and I'm gonna take this anchor off and I'm gonna move the anchor over to the opposite end of the barn so that we can start working on that side safely. One. Yep. So we're nearing the end of the day. We've got 80% chance of freezing rain into the afternoon. So H and I try to get as much done as possible, but I think that we're gonna still have part of this roof that needs to come down tomorrow. So we're gonna have to get up here bright and early and uh, try to work while we can on the roof, hopefully finish up what's left, and then we can work from the telehandler on the ground the rest of the day, dismantling it that way. So I'd say we made pretty good progress uh, based on the circumstances. We're back at the Amish list barn. The, the barn the Amish couldn't finish. Been busy this week, no time to film. Yeah, no time to film this week. We've gotten about four bents down from the north side of the barn. Facing the house. And we've got most of the roof off and right now we're just taking it apart one bent at a time. Uh, but there are still a few challenges that we need to overcome. One of the challenges that we're gonna need to overcome today is there's a lot of material surrounding the barn and it's kind of hard to maneuver the telehandler around it. So Elias and I are gonna focus on taking the bents apart with our telehandler, but we're gonna have to kind of be creative with how we maneuver around that material. Yeah. Day's work, ready to get warm. Uh, you can really tell from the road now, finally, that we've put a good dent in it. Yeah. So I, I feel pretty confident about tomorrow that I think we'll get it all down. Yeah.
All right, so we are back on the job site. Uh, our goal today is to get the rest of these bents down. We gotta get started right away and get this first bent down. We'll see how Elias does. It's a big, it's a big piece. It's a big one. Kind of nervous. <laughs> did break apart right as we dropped it but it's about the best place you could break it it's right at the scarf joint all right so me and Tom are up on the platform and we're taking apart this top plate essentially Tom is going to break cut the two vertical beams this is your holding wood right here so that when Elias lifts this top plate off which is conjoining all of the bends together, he's able to lift it all off in one piece. getting the right angle so that we could get these last three bents down because there's a lot of junk there's a lot of stuff we got to maneuver around that to get these last three bents down and make sure that nothing breaks because every time a bent breaks or a beam breaks in half that's money lost for us Okay, so I'm a little bit nervous about getting this bent on the southmost side. There's not a lot of room for Elias to maneuver around here. There are a couple power lines. Right now, Tom is going up to cut the top plate and essentially disconnect this bent from the rest of the structure. And then we'll go around to the east side and do the same thing. After that, it's up to Elias to get it down safely. two of the connecting braces attached so Tom is going to cut them as soon as Elias gets his fork underneath that top horizontal beam to make sure that when we cut it and it's loose it doesn't fall on top of us or fall on top of Elias so we'll cut it free and then Elias will do his best to get this thing down safely and set it down so that we can start to dismantle it Monday when we come back it's a really big wall. Don't entirely know where I'm gonna put it. And uh, it always makes me nervous traveling around with it in this thing, so we'll see. Okay, we have two plates and two bents left to dismantle before the sun sets. Elias did a really nice job taking that south bent apart and uh, laying it really nicely so that on Monday we can come back and start dismantling it while it's on the ground. Yeah. 
because every time a bent breaks or a beam breaks in half, that's money lost for us. Listen, sometimes you get a little excited. It's the last beam. You lay her down. A couple of them have laid down real nicely. This one did not. I got too excited. Another day, another beams snapped. That's money lost for us. All the good things I got done today. Okay, it was a good was, day for you. I was real, you know, soft with the touch. Yep. For most of the day until the last one. And I got too excited. <laughs> anyway, we've got a buyer coming who used to be Amish next week. So we're going to get this site cleared uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Get the 8x8 eight eight beams that he's buying ready. Then I'm going to ask him just straight up. Did we do a better job than the Amish? Because he would know. He's been around them. Yeah. And so we're going to find out. Are, can, are we better than the Amish or should they just have... Should they just fire us right now and rehire the Amish? Okay, so we're back at the barn site. It's Tuesday, which means that we've got today and tomorrow to get this area cleaned up to get all of our beams, beams ready for our friend who's coming on Thursday to pick them up. So we're clearing out the uh, the top of the barn right now. We're throwing all the bad wood off the side. We're keeping all the beams, denailing them, trimming them up, stacking them. We took apart all the bents earlier today, so that's all done. And now it's just a matter of cleaning it up and making it look presentable. That's money lost for us. Okay, so it is Wednesday night. We've got a fire going, we're burning. A lot of the bad material that was uh, on top of the floorboards in the barn that just kind of fell from the roof or the surrounding walls. We've got our ex Amish buyer coming tomorrow. So he's gonna pick up all of the pine eight by eights from this barn and, and I'm excited to ask him just straight up like, hey, you know how the Amish work? How do we do? Like, did we, did we live up to their name? Did we live up to our destiny? So uh, big day tomorrow. And uh, yeah, I, uh, I hope he likes the beams that he's getting from us. So this is Harold, right? Saying yeah. it right? Okay. Yeah, Harold, yeah. Harold bought some pine beams from us. He's bought some wood from us before and thankful for that. So Harold, I guess uh, just a couple questions for you. What did you think of the beams? Are they in pretty decent shape? Yeah, I think the beams are in really good shape. Okay. Do you want to kind of explain what they're going to turn into? Because I think that's pretty cool. Yeah, so this guy is going to take them and cut them down into like four good sections and he's going to make chandeliers out of them. You grew up Amish. Right. So just kind of looking around at the work we've done, the beams that, that we provided for you. Have we lived up to the Amish or have we still got some work to do? I I think you guys have done really well. Okay. I'm, I'm very impressed with the work you guys have done. Awesome. Give you ten, a 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. <laughs> That's what we like to hear. And we didn't pay him to say that. He's yeah. actually paying us for the beams. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank, Thank you guys. You guys uh, heard it from Harold first, 10 out of 10. Would recommend 310 Timber Company over the Amish. Pretty proud of us, gotta say. That's a, that's some good, that's a good recommendation right there. So it is H's last day of working for 310 Timber Company today. He's worked for us for three months and we're really thankful for that. Uh, he's heading off to the military, so really thankful for his service as well. The most important thing that H taught me just kind of through having conversations and 
and hearing some of his life story is that honesty is very important to him. And I just uh, want to take that with me and uh, want to be an honest boss, honest businessman, honest husband, honest employer, and just be upfront with people and be real with people because I think that's that's lacking today. And I, I uh, I'm thankful that H and I had those conversations about that because it's just a great reminder to just be honest with people. So I do want to give H the final word of this video since it is his last day and uh, I'll kind of sign out now and probably won't see him for a while. It's been a great blessing to work with 310 Timber. Got to reconnect with uh, some great football buddies. It was a uh, with COVID and everything. It definitely was a separation with uh, from family and friends. So this is an awesome time to be able to get paid to spend time with some friends and just reconnect with some fellow brothers, uh, brothers on the field, brothers in Christ. And it's been a great time and it's gonna be uh, very missed. And But I'm excited to see where 310 Timber uh, is in the next couple of years. It's gonna be exciting to see and I can't wait to watch them grow. So make sure you subscribe and we'll see you later.